Hey everybody, Mazer here, and as you can see, we have a new box to open. We have the box, we have the knife, so without further ado, let's open the box by using the knife. Yes, we have a new product to review today, and as you can see, this one is from Amazon. It is not from Wish.com, so you're going to ask yourself, what could it be? What could it be? Let's put that away because we exercise knife safety. There we go. Boom. Off with you. Now, as you can see, da, 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 it is a box of bubble wrap. It is a badly damaged box of bubble wrap. That's not good. Look at that. Jeez, that thing got really messed up. But it looks like the product is okay. Yes, this is VI Native 4K with voice control Wi-Fi action camera, the T5 Edge. Yes, I reviewed one of VIs a while ago, but about a year ago actually. And it is a budget GoPro style camera that you can take anywhere and get all sorts of fancy action shots. And this is their newest model. So Let's take a look. Well, let's get it out of this plastic here. That's a real shit. Look at that. Look at that. That is terrible. Ugh. But I work in shipping, so I know that the outside does not always mean the inside is damaged. Um, that's strange, because the Amazon box looked in great condition. Let's take a look. It has a voice and remote control. Speaking simple voice commands to the remote or pressing the button can both drive your camera. Distortion correction, reducing or eliminating the distortion for more natural shooting effect. I did see this on their website, and I think that was a really cool feature, so I cannot ex wait to try this out. Long exposure. Due the, to the ex extension of exposure time, you can record the movement track commonly used in filming orbit, waterfalls, car, river, and so on. 360 rotating release buckle. That's great. And it has a nice little app that you can download, and we will later. On the back, well, we can't really read that, can we? Uh, we have a 170 degree super wide angle lens, multiple modes, including slow motion, time lapse, photo burst, self timer, aqua mode, and looping record, up and down button, micro SD, HDMI port, threaded insert, dual microphone. And on this side, we get the camera, the housing, the uh, skeletal. Let me move my light here, it's a little too bright. There we go. A little bit of a glare. There, it's much better. A remote control, a 360 rotating release buckle, vertical quick release buckle, mounts, anti fog, battery, USB cable. I can't read the rest. Well, it's already open down here, so let's finish it up. Ah. Never judge a shipment by the box it came in. And there you have it. We have unpacked everything from the box, and here's the camera itself. It comes already mounted to a nice little mount right here. Mount can go back and forth. Does everything a mount should. So this is the VI 4K T5 camera. It's a very nice camera. It comes already installed into the waterproof container. And all you got to do is pop this part open, and the camera comes out. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful. I love the look. I love the sleek black. I like the orange. It's really nice and colorful. But before we get to the actual camera, let's take a look at all the accessories that were included. So we already have one mount right here. Okay. We have the wireless remote. This is a Bluetooth remote that will let you take photos and start video from a push of a button so you don't have to fiddle with the camera itself. It's also voice activated and we'll test that out in a little bit. And then we have two little mounts, one right here and one right here. This is the one that goes directly to the camera. This is the one you stick to whatever you want to stick on. You just lift this part here and it slides into place. And there you go, nice and secure. We have some wipes to keep your screen and lens nice and clean. We have a spare backing for the back of the camera. We have these things called, let me look at the manual here, anti-fog inserts. I guess you put those inside the camera to make sure they don't get foggy. I have to do a little research on these. I've never tried these before. And we got the USB cable and a very lovely 
the eye carrying case. Isn't that beautiful? But enough with the accessories. You want to see the camera in action. So we're going to take it out. And we're going to check it out. So I already put the battery inside. And we're going to turn it on by pushing this little button right here. And there you go. As you can see, I don't have a memory card installed just yet, but that's fine. We'll do that later. We're just going to go through the settings. So, first of all, this is the Wi-Fi button. You push this to sync up the eye to your phone for the application. Over here, you have the USB port, the micro SD card, and it uh, looks like that's a different kind of a... Uh, Maybe mini HDMI? I'm not really sure. That's USB. Hmm. And over here we have up and down buttons, the power button, nice little LED light. And by pushing up, we get to go through the settings. So the settings, real fast, are the resolution, which we have all sorts of very pretty resolutions here. Stabilization, loop recording, time lapse video, recording time, slow motion. So apparently this you can only use on 720p at 120 frames per second. We'll test that out also. Let's see. Fast motion video, wind noise reduction, sound record, low light drive mode, video scene mode. Let's take a look at that. So you have water, writing. I'm guessing this is all sorts of things. that Adjust the camera settings depending on what you're doing. I always thought that said driving, that says diving. That makes more sense. It's like, why do you need a mode for driving? And then we're back to the resolution. So we're going to exit out of this. And there we go. Now we also have the option to switch through our modes. If you push the power button really quickly, we're now in photo mode. You push it again, and we're now in our setting mode. We have photos, playback, and the most important one, camera settings. Let's take a look at that. We have the power frequency, the sounds of the camera itself, white balance, EV, distortion correction. This is the one that makes sure it doesn't look like a fisheye lens. It actually flattens and smooths things out. That one I'm really excited to try out. The date stamp, the date and time, screen saver, power off, power on, auto record, remote pairing, which we'll show you guys in a second, and reset the Wi-Fi setting. Language, format card, and the settings. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to prep the little remote control and we're going to show you how to sync it up and what the remote control can do. All right, we're back. We made sure the battery's all nice and installed and our little uh, remote control is actually already in there. Discovered you have to hold down the power button for several seconds, but that's okay. So we're going to go to remote pair. And oops, I hit the back button. We are going to find the remote pair. There we are. All right, and we're going to turn it on. So Bluetooth is now on, and we hold down the power button for three seconds. Start blinking, and then we push any button. And there you go, it's connected. Isn't that lovely? Now, with it connected, if we push the camera button, it switches the camera. If we push the video button, it switches the video and starts recording. And if you say, action photo, or action start video it does it via voice control isn't that nifty what a great feature this is going to come in handy when you don't want to fiddle with anything but I wouldn't recommend taking this part underwater that would be bad so you've seen the accessories and you've seen the settings and you've seen what the camera looks like but you all don't care Oop. Ah, look how pretty that is. You all don't care about that. You want to see the camera in action. So I am going to get a micro SD card. I'm going to take this out in my neighborhood, and we're going to try each and every setting. One second.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Just some footage I've taken over the past few days, trying out all the little features like the slow motion and the time lapse and everything. You guys saw the footage, so you get an idea. Now I recorded everything at uh, 1080p, mostly due to how everything gets downscaled on YouTube and to make things faster and easier on my editing. Now that said, we have one more feature to try out here, and that is the the I cam app now this app lets you look at all the files on the camera as well as control the camera through the app itself to make it nice and easy and setting it up is a breeze what you do is you first turn on the camera you hold down the power button let it turn on and then you hold down the Wi-Fi button right here now it's going to give you a QR code when it activates Maybe I didn't push it down hard long enough. Hold on. There we go. There's a QR code. So all we do is we pull up a QR scanner on the phone. And we're going to read it real fast. There we go. And it's going to see show you the Wi-Fi connected to the camera. So all you do is hit connect Wi-Fi. And it will say Wi-Fi connection ready. Ta-da! Now all we got to do is go to the camera app, hit the connect button, and now we get to see in real time everything the camera sees. Isn't that nifty? That's so awesome, isn't it? Now right here is your gallery where you get to see photos and videos that you've taken. Over here we have the Wi-Fi signal strength and our battery indicator, the current resolution that you are filming at, and right here lets you choose between video mode, camera mode, and a camera timer. So that's a really nifty feature. So you can put this on a tripod and you get to see everything around you. Really nice and simple, very easy to use. So there's all the features for this nice little camera. Now I am going to put a promotional link in the description below. It gives you $5 off every purchase. So if you guys are interested in this beautiful little camera, go for it. The link is in the description below. So there you go, my review for the brand new The ITE5. It is a gorgeous little camera, great price, has fantastic qualities. And personally, I love this little guy more than the GoPro. This is my second one of the VI cameras. Uh, like I said, I had an older generation one, and now I have two, so I can get even more footage when I go out and about. Isn't that great? It totally is. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I am Mazer, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Hey, everyone. Mazer here, and I just want to thank you for watching my video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me.